This video is going to discuss how to convert from a graph to an equation. So as you can see in front of you, both of these graphs are given when you have certain points that are plotted on those graphs. Now it is important, of course, first to note that these graphs are both exponential equations, not linear. So we are going to be writing an exponential equation for each of these. So as you take a look, it's because that you have this curve shape to it that they are exponential. So it's really important, it's not a line, that these are an exponential equation. Which means the general form of our equation we're going to be looking for is going to be y equals a times b to the x, where a is going to be our y-intercept, or you could say it's the initial value, and b is going to be your multiplier. So that is going to be the case every single time for when we're writing our exponential equations. So as we look at these graphs, what I highly recommend that you do is that you take your graph and you turn it into a table. Right, so as we take a look at these points that are given to us on this graph, we want to make a table because I find that students are much better at writing equations based upon a table versus a graph. So you can make a quick pit stop at a, at a table instead of just looking at the graph itself. So you have the point 0, 4, which is given to us at this location here. And then the next point is up at 1, 12. So we're going to put the points 1, 12. You also see that there's this point down here to the left. However, that's at negative 1, which is OK. But I can't quite tell what the y value is because it doesn't land right on a lattice point. So I'm not even going to bother putting that into my table. So what we see here now is that you actually have the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 4. And so that is what a is going to equal for our first example, 4. Now the multiplier is based upon our next over previous. So you have to do the next over previous, and so that's why the table is a better way to take a look at this. Because you're going to multiply 4 by whatever b is in order to get 12. So b is going to equal that 12 divided by 4 next divided by previous. So that is going to equal 3 in this example. And that's all the information we really need to write our equation. It's y equals our a value, which is 4, multiplied by our multiplier to the x power. And we found our multiplier to be equal to 3. And that would be our equation. Now, I like to visualize one more time on my table. If you take a look at this height above 0, you see that that is a height of 4. And then if you take a look at this height as well, you can see that is a height of 12. So what your multiplier does is it multiplies 4 by 3 to get you 12. I reiterate that because I just want to make sure that we know that we're not doing 12 minus 4 like we would do for an equation of a line. We do 12 divided by 4. So let's take a look at our next example. Here I have three points that are given to me. And so we also take a look at this uh, graph, and you see that it's decreasing. So if you know that you have a decreasing graph, you should know some information about your multiplier, and we'll see that as we do our work. Our a value is still going to be our y-intercept, so we have to figure out what that is. And our b is going to be that multiplier, which is your uh, next over previous. So as we type in or write in our points that we see, we first see that we have 0, 8 as the first point given to us. The second point here is at 1, 4. So we put that into the table, 1, 4. And you could put 2, 2 on there as well, which is this final point. So as we see, we've already got our y-intercept. So that's 0, 8. That's the first piece of writing your equations, where y-intercept is equal to 8 for this particular problem. Our multiplier is whatever we're multiplying by to get from one y value to the next. So if you do your next over previous for our multiplier, you take a look at those values. In this example, that's going to be 8 divided by 4, which in this case is equal to 1 half which that makes sense that our multiplier is 1 half because, as we said at the very beginning, this graph is decreasing, so your multiplier must be less than 1, so that all matches up. If you took 4 and multiplied by 1 half, you would also get 2. So you see that you're multiplying by the same amount every single time, and your equation is going to be y equals 8, in this case, multiplied by our multiplier to the x power, and that multiplier is 1 half. So, Every exponential equation has this curve, follows the form y equals a times b to the x. a is your 0 value in x, your y-intercept. 
initial value. There's several phrases we use to represent that. And B is your multiplier. Again, I cannot reiterate enough the fact that this is not a line. So I don't do change in Y over change in X. You do next over previous in order to find out what that multiplier is. Thank you.